we'll get into the, the beginning of your career, mate. Where did you uh, play your junior footy? Yeah, well, I started as a, in the under-14s uh, where I grew up in a little country town called Leangatha, uh, about, uh, you know, 100, 160 kilometres uh, southeast of Melbourne, heading down towards Wilson's Promontory. Uh, yep. My old man, uh, he, he left uh, Melbourne in the in the late 40s. He was actually the first ever cap, paid captain coach of Lone Gather in about 1949. He was a great country footballer and also a pretty handy city one as well. But he was only young and obviously back in those days, they needed a few dollars to raise his five kids that he had. So he went captain coaching on the hunt. So he went down there in those times and we grew up in Lone Gather. So I played under 14s for two years. Then went into the under-16s, couldn't get a game with the under-16s at Lane Gather. So I went out to the most famous club of all time, mate, Minion Dumbork United, where I went out there and played in their under-16 grand final. And was Ruck something that you 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 obviously were uh, had a talent for? Was it your favourite position on the field or did you like playing in forward line as well? Well, um, Ruck was, uh, and I say all the time, we, we got uh, Bont and Pally and Fife and, and and all those great sentiment on ballers today that are six foot five <laughs> that have never played in the ruck. And my major height was six foot four. And all I ever did was play in the ruck. And that's how it was back then. If you were six foot three, six foot four, my father was one of the great country ruckmen of his time. He was six foot one. Um, it's funny how how heights and shapes and everything have changed today. Like unless you're six foot ten, you don't play in the ruck today. And I know Glenn, your father, uh, was a great ruckman. He was six foot four himself. So uh, times have really changed in your in your career early days. Uh, who were some strong people that influenced your career? Oh, well, obviously, you know, my junior coaches uh, at Lee and Gather and, uh, and, and Manion Dumbork United, but my father, my father was a great, uh, Les Baker was his name, he was a great old country footballer, and I just grew up, you know, following wherever he went, and he coached quite a few, he was a big, strong, six foot one ruckman, and uh, he, he captain coached a lot of teams back in those days uh, when I was growing up, and I just remember going to the footy with him every Saturday, and I'd either have the, the, the club that he was coaching with all their stuff on, and full footy boots, and kit and caboodle, and the whole stuff, all my Melbourne stuff, that's what I used to wear to the footy. And What about on the flip side, when when you were uh, in the leadership group at Melbourne, um, how did you go about leading players? What was sort of your leadership style? Well, um, leadership probably back then is probably a bit different to now. They, you know, they 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 choose three captains and five captains. I was actually um, um, chosen as vice captain. Uh, of Melbourne in 1981, Robbie Flower, the great Robbie Flower, was uh, he was the captain. When I was uh, named vice captain of the club from Barassi in his first year, I, I did get a, a hell of a shock because um, um, I, I never thought that I would, you know, be elevated to that sort of area as the second best player or the second best person in the club to lead the club. But I tried to lead by example on the training track. You just all of a sudden, I don't know, puts a bit of a spring in your step that you, you're up your ante a little bit because you are in the leadership group and you've got to make an example for all these other players. And, and what about challenges? What were some of your biggest challenges in, during your career? And what did you, how did you grow from them? What, what did you learn? Well, the challenge was, uh, you know, every week to try and get a game, you know. That was our, our biggest challenge was to, to perform uh, well enough each week that you'd get a game. And then if you did get dropped, which every now and again you get dropped and go back to the seconds, um, you would, uh, the challenge was to, to get best on the ground in the seconds because the only way you could get get back in in those days was hope that the bloke that took your spot never got a kick and you got best on the ground so most times I got dropped which was a few times you get dropped to the seconds you would make sure you got BOG in the twos and then hopefully the following week you'd get back but there was that challenge at all always to make the finals that was the ultimate. Which movie or TV series has uh, impacted you the most and why? Well, mate, when I was a, when I was living in Melbourne, my like I love Australian, I love Australian television, yep. love Australian television, and back in back in my early days, I used to be absolutely in love with Cop Shop, yep. 
Yep. Something you probably wouldn't even have heard of. And then along came Skyways, and before that was Homicide, the old detective shows and all that. That's what I was absolutely uh, right into. Um, now, I, I just watched a, a, a thing on uh, Netflix and I only finished last week, and I was so disappointed it finished a, a, a show that went, uh, I think there were three series of about eight 40 minute goes of each series called Tangle. I don't know if you know of Tangle, but I really, it's an Australian show. And 